Keep those knees bent. Open, close. There it is. <laughs> The instructors and school owners, our customers all around the country and the world, they're really the people that, that make the impact on students' lives. My name is Michael Dillard, I'm the yeah. VP of Operations here at Century Martial Arts and the second generation leader. Family organization who focuses on distribution of equipment to martial arts schools. Well, this is the heart of our manufacturing operation. This is, this is where all the magic happens. It's kind of a lost art. Textiles and manufacturing in the United States is really, really important to us. We did the original Karate Kid uniforms. So when Sony did the revamp of Cobra Kai, they came back to us. They wanted the nostalgia of it, get the original product manufacturer. Now we're working on them right here. They love and ship love. Exported all across the world. I never thought that I would end up being in our family business. Being here at Century as a child, it really was uh, an incredible time. The guys like Chuck Norris and, and Bill Wallace and Joe Lewis, all of those guys, they were just our family friends. A lot of people got to look up to them. Well, those guys actually taught me these values and these very big life lessons. I was about six or seven years old in this picture. A lot of photos of me and, me and Chuck in the early days. He was a, a very big part of the founding of this company. Still think of him as Uncle Chuck. This is my mullet that led to a lot of teasing. And so, yes, of course, I experienced bullying. But a lot of kids that find themselves in martial arts classes are victims of bullying. And in the collar, he's going to bridge, and we're going to do the head and arm of CQ. The Heroes in Waiting came about to help give school owners the yeah. curriculum and the tools that they need to teach kids to identify when these bullying these situations are happening, how to take steps to intervene, to just step in and say something. There was a, a horrible story about this young kid and he had been bullied at school and you know through social media and all these kind of things and he ended up taking his own life and that really struck home for us. I was just out of college here at Century but I worked with our content development team. I saw a lot of these students in martial arts. I was one of those students in martial arts myself that was bullied and that felt like I could have helped intervene in some of these other situations that, that were happening. How big this epidemic of social media bullying really was and we started developing this, this program piece by piece by piece. Impact was profound. Um, the course, it ran its course, was very successful for a couple of years. At the time, I was with a nonprofit that was just getting started here in Oklahoma City, and Century and its team offered to help us. I realized oh, we do have this program. We, it's called Heroes in Waiting, and it was just, uh, you know, it's not about martial arts and fighting people that were bullying. It's about Quite the opposite, it's just teaching kids that uh, they can stand up for themselves. And we were going through the curriculum, and it was just a physical binder. <laughs> <laughs> going page to page. Because 10 years ago, we didn't, you know, we saved things on hard disk, and our computers didn't have enough memory. We did the best we could with physical uh, mm -hmm. mailing that out to academies to, to learn this curriculum. Technology had finally caught up. We immediately got to work reworking the curriculum. Within a year, martial arts academies across the country were downloading it and using it. We were kind of pushing along COVID-19 hit in a big way and it felt like for the second or third time Heroes in Waiting went dead. We got to do something bigger and better and what better time than when students aren't able to go to school. It started with a CD. Jim's always been there for us. And a good vision and a heart to help kids get through their bullying situations now full circle as we're expanding this it will be available to every kid to download look at learn from hey I'm Malcolm from Heroes in Wait we have put together an all-star team and I am so pumped like Malcolm Tubbs who is Fox 25 reporter in the mornings. He's the on-court MC for the Oklahoma City Thunder. I love to inspire, I love to uplift, I love to hype people up. So much fun. Come back, welcome back. Heroes in Waiting stands out from the rest. Something that can be started in elementary, middle school, high school, and can be taken with you for the rest of your life. It's just incredible to think that something that is so powerful won't cost a dime. One that's about being friends and making mm. friends. There's okay. one about, you know, what is bullying behavior. I'm Angela Paglia, and I'm so proud to be part of the Heroes in Waiting team. We are passionate about making the Heroes in Waiting programming radically accessible. We believe that every child needs to hear what we have to say. We're being very intentional about breaking down every barrier to access that we can. 
financial barriers, that's why it's free. Language barriers, that's why we want to translate it into five languages. Any barriers that have to do with the children, youth of different abilities, that's why we're budgeting to translate it into ASL, sign language, braille, and any other barriers that we can think of. We are here to break those down and say, here you go, here you go, here you go. Please take it. Hey, you want to roll through the first line? Welcome to Heroes in Waiting. I'm excited. The opportunity to do something that really matters. Hey, one word, awesome! For 13 years, I was the inner corner reporter for KFOR. I'm Scott Hines, in your corner. I too have felt like I don't belong. I've also felt like something's wrong with me. A lot of people, especially kids, can relate. And I wish I had something like Heroes in Waiting when I was a kid. Welcome back. Today, I'm really excited to talk about differences. Like, how lucky are we that we get to be the ones, you know, with these easy trauma-informed practices and tools we get to share it with the world. In the years of COVID, we've heard kids say, we lost ourselves. We want to help every child become what they were made to be. We want to see them fly. You guys ready to get started? Let's yes. do it. <laughs> yeah!